calculated the hydrostatic force on a flat area, vertical area. Now we will calculate the hydrostatic force that is uh, force due to liquid pressure on a curved surface. Oh. So let us take a vessel like this. Now in the previous case the wall of the vessel was vertical. Now here let us not make it vertical, make it curved in this way. Now uh, the height and all those things are given, the weight. We would like to find out the force due to liquid pressure. Force due to liquid pressure on this carpet. Now, how to go about it? One way is to integrate it. That's the difficult way, but I will not suggest you to go about it that way. There is an easier way to solve this problem. So, way by integration is following. Just consider any height, consider this pressure P. Express the pressure as a function of I, then consider the X force, the Y force, and integrate. It's a tedious job. So, we are not going to do it that way. Here, I will apply a very simple idea I will apply Newton's law of motion. And I will consider a certain free body diagram. A certain part of the liquid I will consider as the free body diagram and apply the force equation. That's it. The equations of equilibrium. So for that, let's consider. So you should know actually the shape of this. So a little 3D diagram will not be that bad. That is the curved area. This is the carpet. So the width uh, is it, say, uniform width. This this height happens to be h, and this width happens to be b. I will consider a certain part of the liquid. Let me consider this part of the liquid. And I will apply Newton's law on this part of the liquid. See, this is this. Uh, let me shade it. So this is my free body diagram for force analysis. So let's consider the volume part of this 3D figure of this. So it's this volume here, right? This is This part of the liquid. The corresponding 3D diagram is drawn in this figure. So, see. So, now as we consider free body diagram of the liquid only, we will remove so everything else except this part of the liquid. So, let me erase that. That is the, that is the whole concept of free body diagram. Right? So, I will remove all this. White lining walls, the wall of the vessel will remove that white lining walls. So for us, this is our system. Now, as you know, this system, this much volume of the liquid is at rest, is in equilibrium. 
So, what are the forces acting on? So, let us consider the liquid pressure only. Let us uh, neglect the atmospheric pressure for the time being. So, only due to liquid pressure, we want to find the force due to liquid pressure only. So, let us uh, not consider atmospheric pressure for the time being. So, now here, so this part is a rectangular surface, right? Here, this is a corresponding. This part is a rectangular surface of width B and height H. This is a height H. And the width B, the width B goes into the plane of the board. So we have no it's calculated this. How to find out force on a flat vertical surface? What is that? It is the pressure at the center of the cilia multiplied by the weighted area. Pressure at the center means that's a rectangular area. Pressure at the center means this midpoint is the center. So h by two from the free surface. So this force happens to be rho g h by two multiplied by dh. Now what else are the forces? You have weight W. How to calculate the weight? For that its shape has to be given in details. Else how do you calculate the weight? The shape is obviously given. Say it is a quarter cylinder or whatever. This much volume has to be known. So V rho G is W. Weight of this part of the unit. Right. And force due to this wall, the wall of the vessel which we have removed, this wall was there. So this wall will apply pressure normally on every part of the surface of this liquid. And according to Newton's third law, the liquid will also apply the same force on the wall. So let us calculate the net force due to wall on this curved part of the liquid. So as this pressure acts like this. Without integration we can find out. So let F be the net force. F is a force on the curved surface. of wall due to liquid. Now, this is same as the force, force on the liquid given by the curved surface of the wall. So, we will calculate that and equate according to Newton's third law. So, these all forces will have a certain uh, x component, fx, and a certain y component, if you And the net force is obviously F. The vector sum of Fx and Fy. Now, due to equilibrium of this portion of the liquid, we know this force is equal to Fx and this weight is equal to Fy. So, this is how we have solved. This complicated problem of force due to liquid pressure on a car surface. Hydrostatic force due to liquid pressure on a car surface. See, no integration, nothing like that is required. If you can choose a proper free body diagram of a certain portion of the liquid. So Fx is equal to rho g h by 2 multiplied by g h and Fy is equal to W. Obviously, the shape and the details will be given to you so that you can calculate the